Hello and welcome to a 1.7.10 Traincraft video. I'm going to revisit this mod from a pretty long time ago. I'm going to get a super flat world. I'm just going to play with it. I have not done this in a long time. Here we go. While we're sitting here loading, I have to say that it's incredible that there is a thousand views on my previous Traincraft video. Like a thousand. That's a lot of people that watch that video. All right, first of all, the mod works, right? The mod please works. Yes. Yes, is this new? No, it's not. Is this new? Wait, what? Oh, this is new. That's cool. Do I have, I don't have just enough items. I can't look at crafting recipes. Oh, well, that's not really too important. Wow, that, whoa, wait, whoa, hold on, whoa, 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 this is, this is new stuff? Hold on, new stuff? So what is this? Bamboo flat car freight. Ooh. That's really low to the ground. There's a lot of dyes, oh my gosh. Red, blue, black, yellow, magenta, cyan, pink, green, white, light blue, lime, brown, purple, orange, green. I, I wish this mod had a paintbrush. <laughs> Still, I, I like how the material slot is separate from the miscellaneous slot. When you play with mods, there's like a million spawn eggs and you can never get to the bottom. Alright, I guess red was the default. Oh, I see. Okay, it just changes the outline. I was expecting it to... Oh. Is that the engine? Oh my gosh, that's tiny. How much? Wait, 20. What is that measurement of power? Oh, Minecraft horsepower, maybe. All oh, right, you can't ride the freight cars in this. Oh, you can't move around. I'm so used to immersive railroading. German mail car, whoa. All right, you know, I'm gonna go through these alphabetically, or I guess inventory Lee. <laughs> Panzer? What? What? I'm sending a screenshot to my friend right. Hold on. Black, gray, and light gray. Oh! That's a. It's a. It's a type. I. Uh, I don't know. I've seen it before. This is another one I've seen before. I don't remember the name. I want to say duck. It does nothing to do with a duck. Where's... Okay, let me bring this back out here. Oh, this is great. I love this. I love the lock feature. That's so amazing. This mod is... Ooh. Whoa, that's a cool shape. This mod is actually, like, really well thought out for survival. Whoa. That took a sudden, realistic change. I'm pretty sure there's the other rails we've got to find. Let me see. I'm going to build a little rail track. Is there anything underneath here? No. I'm going to build a little railway track. I'm going to try not to get distracted by any new trains. Oh, actually, I want to see how many there are. That's new. That's new. That's new. I, I really want to see that, actually. These are new. That's new. These are all new. Those are new. This is... Oh, I love that. It's all in order. That's cool. Except that. That should be like there, but still, that's cool. Oh my gosh. This is all new. I want to see what the ice wagon is. Wait. Yeah, I want to... What? Vert <gasps> Vertical boiler. Oh my gosh. Gosh, there's so much. There's... It's so hard to be not distracted. Like, I don't know... I don't think you know how hard it is for me to not be distracted by this. This is... St uh, so <laughs> wow. Well, oh, first of all, I've seen this train before. I want to see if it's finished. I don't remember how to fuel these trains, if they need coal and water, or if it's just coal. I think it's coal and water. Is it R? Yeah, I still have a bit of train craft knowledge in me. I don't have mouse tweaks. I'm not used to not having that.
Alright, that's gonna take a while to heat up. What's that actually has a whistle now! When I played this, this used to never have a whistle. It was completely silent. Hold on. Where's that other one? The other one that I... Oh my gosh, there are so many trains. It's not that... Oh, that's cool. We got a BR thing. Snowplow? I'm so distracted right now. Where is that one train I was... Whoa, it's green. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, I'll get to it eventually. Ah, uh, I'll get to it eventually. Am I really going to place down every single train? I think I am. I'm probably going to make a separate video. <laughs> no. No way. No. Oh my gosh, it's from Factorio. This is so cool. I didn't think they would have added what? What? Can I wait? I have to fuel this. I just I have to. Does it sound? This is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. This is like This is amazing. This is I have to do a 1.7 pun 10 mod pack now. I I didn't think I'd ever be coming back to this version of Minecraft for a mod pack. This I have to do this. That oh, that means there there has to be the storage cars, right? There has to be. If there's the tr the locomotive from Factorio. Oh my gosh, where is it? Fictional cargo any? No way. Is this the um the cargo cars? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. It's just a fictional one. But that's still so cool. Oh, I've forgotten how to connect these. They don't just bump into each other. Anyways, dyeable colors. Gray and blue. Blue. Ooh, whoa, wait, that's way different. That's pretty cool though. Back to gray. Oh, that's so cool. It's the old model of the train, too. It's like... It's like nostalgic and awesome. That is so cool. What? 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 I gotta build some kind of factory now. I'm gonna get so distracted. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Does it... What does it run on? How do I get in it? Is it steam operated? Yeah, it is. I feel like this has been in Traincraft for like so long and I just haven't played for really long that everyone who plays Traincraft knows about this and they're just looking at me like, you mean you didn't know this was in the game? Oh, and there's electric trains. I forgot about that. Do they just run on redstone? And I'm used to immersive railroading not having electric trains. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Start engine. Oh, this is this is the coolest thing. How does this one sound? I'm t <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Does the front... I doubt the front actually moves when I move. That would be, like, insane, but I don't think this mod does that. I'm gonna say it's for performance reasons, which is nice. One... Tra <gasps> oh my gosh, that is the tiniest train I have ever seen. It's so small. What is the max speed? 45? I love this. This is... This is possibly, like, just back to being one of my favorite mods. It's so... I gotta hear what it sounds like. I'm so glad they don't need to be fueled for you to blow the whistle. Vertical boiler? Oh, this is like a really old one. Like a really old style of train.
So it turns out these trains. I'm probably gonna have to turn the f f uh, video down every time I do the whistle. Sound is under master volume for the trains. What is this? Oh, it forgot. It doesn't drop it. I can't really adjust the volume too well for this to be not extremely loud. Vertical boiler shay? Is that a crankshaft on one side? Yeah, there's a crankshaft. This is cool. Oh, you know what? I have not seen this train for so long. These two. I forgot which one it is. I think it's this one that I just really, really like. Because you can paint it green. And I forgot which color of green. But it's like, yeah. Whoa, potions look old. Anyways. Oh, it's got a little creeper face on it. I think this is the one that I really liked because of its color. It also has a little, like, its own... This, this train is the only one that I've heard that horn on, although it sounds very, like... Oops. Uh, like, it just kind of cuts in and cuts back out. Whoa, what? Admin book? Huh. Can I open it like a regular book? Nope. Whoa. This looks fa- Okay. I'm gonna get to the super fast train at some point. Gonna get to that train at some point. I just can't believe they have Factorio in here. Like, what? Uh, mm, I just gotta see. I think I know this train. I know this train. Yes, it's from Mercer Railroading 2. Or at least it's in it. It's not from it. It's a real train. Where, where? Okay, okay, there it goes. Before I finish getting distracted, I gotta just place down these last three. Three dome tank. And the ice wagon. <laughs> Tiny little thing. Carries ice. Wow. This is... A Wait, what? Whoa. Okay, no more distracting. That's a new two. Anyways... Let's get to building a uh, railroad. Sorry, I just realized it's nighttime. There are game rules in this. Okay, good, good. Do daylight cycle false. Oh, do weather cycle is not an option in this version. So let's, uh, let's um, play some tracks. I really just need to do a mod pack with this one day. I really don't know what I'm going to do here. I guess I'm just going to make it like a kind of... I don't know, I guess you'll see. So while I was building this, I realized when I look at this, my frames kind of drop from a nice solid like 60 up there to like around 30 to 20. And like 20 FPS, I mean, it's actually pretty good right now. It's it's suddenly better now that I'm recording, which is like the opposite of what should be happening. But you know, I want this to be as smooth as possible for recording. So this bridge is gonna have to go. It's gonna change to be some other material. But I really like how these look. I wish they were better on performance. I remember these being really bad on my frame rate before earlier. But earlier I mean like multiple years ago when I used this mod. Alright, we just need the finishing touch, which is this. And we put a little bit of rail right behind it, because like how that looks. And this is what I've come up with. This is going to be the little, I guess, train track I use. That part will go somewhere later, I think. Right now it's going to end there. And, oh, I should put a switch. That would be very important to not just go flying down there. Now, I'm going to go right where I started and build the train here. Just the question is, what train do I make first? There are so many. Caboose, passenger, you know, do a little mix. Now, I need the stake thing. How does this work again? I click that. Oh! How long is the distance? Then I think I could push. Oh, that's nice. Right, these have to be straight pieces of track. Forgot about that. Okay. I love how the. I, something I just love about this mod. Let me fuel this train. When did I get resistance? Okay. 
Let me just put a bit more water. Actually, let me test something else. If I put water in here. Oh, that's so cool. It actually works the way you'd think it would work. I'm going to fill this up. doesn't nearly need all this water, but I want to put it there because I, I want to. Now, something I really love about this mod is look at how compact this is. Like, it, it holds enough stuff to be used in survival. It's not like some absurd amount. The trains are really compacted down. Like, they're like, you know, they're kind of squished. They look good. They fit on Minecraft rails. They work good on these turns. Like, this is like the sharpest possible turn you can do in immersive railroading that looks good still. Whereas Traincraft makes these super sharp turns still look really nice. Because the trains are also, like, compressed and tiny. In a good way. Well, it's raining. I'll, I'll leave the rain on for now. Look at this. Oh, I love this. I feel so short in here. Kind of hard to see, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is getting up to speed and watching it from here. Look at this. It's doing a wheelie. It's going too fast. It's too powerful. <laughs> oh, well. Small issues. It'll be fixed at some point, I assume. Oh, this is great. Okay. This is a small sec- or a straight section of track. How long will it take for me to stop? And also, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the weather now. Oh, it takes a long time to stop. Wow. Oh, you can just turn the brake on while it's moving. Wait, how well does that work? I can turn on the brake? No, I can't. I assume I have to be going at least 10. Wow, it's... It is much harder to stop these trains than I remember it being. If I want to precision stop this thing, I've got to actually drive it very slowly. Oh. Maybe don't stop right there. That should be... Uh, you know... It should be okay. Oh no. These can be dyed so many different colors. Let's try purple. You know, ooh, that's cool. Me doing every single train, that that would take really long. I, I think I'm gonna not do a video on that. I might do a video with like a lot of different trains or maybe I do every single train but not the paint jobs. That will take hours. Does black make it black? It does. Light blue makes it light blue. I like that! Oh, it's, I love that color of blue. And now, these ones, I don't think these trains progressively fill. <gasps> you know what I gotta do. Engineer. Awesome. Alright. These trains don't progressively fill. I don't think they do, at least. But the good thing about that is it's always full. Wait. Wait, no way. Oh, right. These can only carry logs. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, <gasps> they do? I'd forgot they did that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That is the coolest thing. It has been too long since I've used a mod like this. What's this carry? Gravel, blocks, and vanilla items. This is so cool. I have to do a, like, survival series with this. I mean, just look at this. Like, this can only carry certain items. This can only carry probably, like, gravel, vanilla items, right? If we want to do something modded, we actually need boxcars. We're going to go chop down trees. You need actually, like, these. Like, you got to actually shunt the trains around. I mean, shunting trains would be kind of annoying, I think, in my opinion, with this mod. 
but still really cool. Now, passengers don't really fit on a train like this. But, I mean, I'm going to put it in here anyways. I love how you can push them, too. That's, like, really useful for doing track work and just shunting stuff around without having to actually get the train all fueled up. Now, can this little guy still pull this? Break off. Let's see. How? What is all this stuff? Mass pulled. I love that. That's so cool. 10 cars, 230 tons. Just rounding it a bit. Maximum steed, 17. <laughs> Be nice if it rounded that number a little more. Acceleration? Whoa. All right, all right. Let's see. I wonder if a Minecraft horsepower is equal to, like, some kind of... Oh, wow, they even have a different mass. That's so cool. What is this? What are these things? Propaganda car? <laughs> it's, it's just a flag. Whoa. Red and blue. Wait, then what's white? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy, I know nothing about him. Uh, I'll see what these are. There's probably some, like, historical thing to these that I don't get, but someone watching the video will get. I mean, I know the Uncle Sam got... <gasps> oh, that's cool. It's a bit hard to see what's going on, but, like, I can tell those are planes, these are tanks. Yeah, so this is definitely meant for some kind of, like, historical war, like, um, I guess a roleplay or something with train craft. So this is its maximum speed. <laughs> okay, let's, so if I just do that. Oh, they all stop on their own, that's cool. Let's get a more powerful train. What, oh, this one. This is a train that when I last played, did not have any sound. It now has paint though, that's cool. So let's get in here, throw this in, start the engine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, yellow, white, blue, orange, and light blue. Orange. Okay, so that makes it yellow. Colors are a little confusing. White makes it red, blue makes it blue. I like that. Yellow makes it red, and blue makes it blue again. Oh, I like this, I'm gonna keep this. It doesn't need the tender anymore, but I'm gonna keep that though. I forgot that's not how it's done. This is how it's done. Here we go. So, speed reduced is zero. This is a strong train. 70. So, I don't. Yeah, it's. Oh, wow, yeah. A thousand horsepower. Yeah, I, realistically, I think a thousand horses could pull this no problem. This is like nothing. Imagine a thousand horses. Like, actually, I'm at... Oh, wow, that's actually decently fast. I'm going to visually show you what a thousand horses looks like, except using fences. So let's say we went, like, ten blocks over here. That's 16. This is another ten blocks. Imagine ten of those. It's the amount of horses compacted into that little thing. That's... I love that. Stuff engines are powerful. I'm going to leave this here for now might forget what it is you know i'm gonna put a sign here that's just oh that is the this is old horse this little guy is actually pretty fast like this is actually hold on what's the speed measurement in this mod because that is 40 kilometers an hour in immersive railroading is faster than you can run, except 50 kilometers an hour I can run. So is this kilometers an hour? It doesn't seem right. Unless immersive railroading has it wrong. I don't know. I I don't think this is actually going 60. This doesn't seem fast enough. If I find a clip of me in a train on immersive railroading going like 40 kilometers an hour i think it's faster than this so i mean look at this i can like sprint jump catch up to this train so here i've got a train that's capable of going over 40 but i'm gonna keep it just at 40 for simplicity since that's what i compared it to right so this is 40 that is going way faster than i can run whereas the train in train craft was going over 50 about 60 and i could keep up with it 
which means it's probably about half the actual speed. Because if I lower this to like 25, which is half 50, that's a speed that I can keep up with. So I think Traincraft is actually just doubling the speed that it tells you it's going. Either it's a bug or it's to make you feel like you're going faster since, I mean, this isn't really all that fast. But if it says you're going 40 or 50, then it's suddenly, oh wow, it's actually kind of fast. So that's a bit strange that it would do that. But uh, it's, I, I guess it's a thing it does. Also, uh, this is a train race map I was working on. I might make videos on this. Tell me what you think. Train races. Train. You cannot do that with the others. Oh, this is so cool, though. Gotta say, this is... This is cool. And I'm pretty sure each of these can only carry one player. So if you want to move three players, you actually need three passenger cars, which makes sense because they're so tiny. It's just the hills are a little, hmm. All right. What other trains are there? 45. You know what this... Oh, <laughs> that's fast. Let's make a special passenger train, all right? I don't want to... Oh, but there are so many... There are so many trains to go through. There are so many. This video could be so long. I'm going to try and keep it short. I'll make it, I'll divide it into a separate video. And in that separate video, I'll probably just go over like every single train. This is just, you gotta remember, I have not played with this. With an exception to my last video, which I tried not to look into it too much. My last video on this being me rediscovering my old train craft world from like super long ago it's been like four or five or six years I, I don't know an exact number that is a long time like that years this is so cool I have said that so many times if there was a counter on screen why don't you want to count that see how many times I've said that in the comments because I'm not counting that I've already got to edit the video that's enough for me Let's see, this one, I like green. I was also, I was originally planning on do, oh, I'm gonna have to stop this train now, it's gonna take a while. I was originally planning on doing this video in multiplayer, but I think this is enough. It'd be overwhelming for me to, like, find all these trains, and then also share the experience in multiplayer. Like, nah, I want all the experience just for me. Ooh, that's a big train. 105 wow all right we're getting some speed before i end the video i'll do some like passenger trains probably I'll, i'm gonna divide this up because right now i think this is wait oh it's electric what oh it is there's no exhaust that's cool i'm just judging by the shape of the train wow didn't know there are many electric freight trains. Well, I guess there has to be some. Oh, start engine. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, that sounds so cool. What's the horn? Okay, I've heard that before. This is, ah, I'm ready for some speed here. I really think that's like meters or something, not kilometers. I don't know. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, what happened? What? I don't know if the trains are like not designed for faster speeds. I don't, I don't think trains are designed to derail in this for fast speed. Like that wouldn't seem intentional. That's not, not healthy for the train. Why did that happen? You know, I'm actually going to ask in the Immersive Rail... Or no, the Traincraft Help channel in their Discord server. Okay. Well, I have asked for help in their Discord server. Apparently, the trains derail if they're going faster than 90 kilometers an hour around a turn. Which makes sense, realistically. 
But in my opinion, I mean, that should be toggleable in the config, which I look through and it's not. Because, I mean, this it is Minecraft. You want to get places fast, and 90 kilometers an hour in this mod is not 90 kilometers an hour. <laughs> well, most of the train is probably salvageable. I'm just going to leave it here for now. Let's see how far I can get in this. Oh, that looks kind of cool. That looks really cool. Wow. I wish the pistons moved, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Solid texture fire. Oh, yeah. The train is cold right now. As my screen is boiling hot. Anyways. I'm probably not going to make it too far for derails. I wonder if a locomotive can derail, though. I would assume that's less likely. Just because... Well, I don't know. I didn't derail the trains did. Let's see. We're approaching 90. Will I derail in this tunnel? No. So what happens if it hits this? You know what? Uh, oh, it just stops. Okay. Trains are very good brakes. So this train, if I get in here, and I move it forward, what's it sound like? Okay. Let's do that, and let's see how fast I can go before derailing and ending the, uh, the video. Alright, we're going to 40, going 50, 60, 70. Okay, I can see why that would derail a train, because that does not look right. But I mean, then again, this is Minecraft. I honestly wonder if the derailing is even intentional or if it's like a bug they couldn't figure out. What? Oh, I've just gone through it. That was pretty fun. It was very fun. Oh, there we go. Very fun at the beginning. I'm a little sad about the derailing thing because it's going to make it a lot less survival mode friendly. Especially as us want to get places faster. We're going to go faster. I mean, we could just make trains that don't go 90 kilometers an hour. The VL-10. You know what? I actually remember using the VL-10 a very long time ago. And I used to use this thing on Minecraft rails, which had, you know, 90 degree turns. And the train would be fine going over that, from what I remember. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this video. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe, because it helps the channel. And we're almost at 100 subscribers, which is pretty cool. It's a big number. And I'm going to end the video here with a time lapse.